Welcome to my channel, my name is Miriam if you are new here and in this video I'm going to show you tips on how to create and organize a tea slash coffee station as well as a few ideas on how to decorate for this upcoming fall season. Finally, my kitchen remodeling is done, so I'm focusing on organizing drawer by drawer on this whole kitchen. So let's start with my coffee drawer, here are a few tips. So I already owned a Nespresso pod organizer, but I want to make this drawer a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I think I'm going to donate this one. It's too bulky and kind of spongy and my Nespresso pod boxes I literally just throw in there. So it is very important to have containers or a system so that you can actually separate different items. I'm wiping down the drawer with a disinfecting wipe, but during this time of the year, I love the Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose sprays, especially this one. It is in the apple cider scent, but they also have like mum and acorn, different type of scents. This is exactly the organizer that I was looking for. I bought it from Amazon and it is wood. It has little dents in the middle so that the pots stay. And also these little sticky things that ju you just place them in the corner of the box and it just prevents the box from moving inside of your drawer. And it really matches perfectly with the inside. If you own a Nespresso machine, who else is patiently waiting for the pumpkin spice cake pod? I cannot wait. So this is a silverware organizer, but I think it's going to go super well in this drawer. To store all of the little items for coffee making, I also like these spoon rests I grabbed at the flea market. I have another one over here. And then my coffee stir spoons, a few of espresso shot mugs, a few of my edible essential oils like Madagascar, vanilla, cinnamon, peppermint, and lavender. I'm actually craving a lavender latte. I'm also going to add these stevia drops. My grandmother gave me this contraption and it acts kind of like a filter for drip coffee and it is a very treasured gift. I also have these filters and I use them for my French press and I also bought this at Target so you can use it for both. Some festive napkins. I love to have my coffee and just pick up a festive napkin and as you can tell I love ghosties. These ones are cute too. I picked up some sugar cubes. They just bring me really fond memories. When I was a little girl, my mom used to buy them for when her friends came and visited her and they had a coffee. And I just remember putting one in my mouth and letting it dissolve. So it's very nostalgic to me. I also grabbed some of these little half and half travel um, little cups because sometimes my friends come and they don't like my creamer so this is just half and half it's easy for me to give some of them and I can also take them to go I was left with an empty space just big enough for my sugar-free caramel sauce and also these vanilla pods I can add the vanilla seeds into my foam I think it's gonna be delicious and this is a finished product. I don't think I've ever had a stocked drawer full of coffee goodies. I cannot wait to come down here every morning and open up my drawer and make myself the perfect cup of coffee. Some days I enjoy my coffee black, but it's good to have the option and just be a little extra. I'm using these glass containers. I normally use them to do like my cold oatmeal in the fridge, but I'm going to use them now just to pour my coffee beans and sugar in them. And then I remembered I had these beautiful vases with the cork ball stopper. These serve dual purpose, so I thought I would just pour again my coffee beans into these. They are going to look beautiful as decorations, but also as containers just to store my sugar and coffee beans. All right, so now let's move on to the tea station. I have drawers and cabinets for this station. My girls and I love to drink tea, but I have to clean and declutter and organize my tea bags and also just donate the ones that 
they sounded really good at the store but once i bought them they were not that good but yeah this is a lot of tea for just the three of us let me show you inside these cabinets here is where i store my tea kettle i love it because it literally boils water in seconds and then i have these beautiful kind of ceramic handmade bowls they're also hand painted and i just like to use them to put my tea bags there for when they're done steeping in my cup i could just discard them and set them there And to organize my honey, I'm going to use this wood spice stand and I found this glass container that used to house cotton balls. I washed it and I'm going to use it to add some cookies into my tea station. Maybe in the future I will find some glass containers to pour all of my honey into so that everything looks more uniform. But for now this works. And then I decided to scratch the wood spice organizer and just add this marble stand. I think it looks better, more simplified. I like it more. Before I head out to the store, I add parchment paper into the inside of my drawer. That way I can measure exactly how big my drawer is. I mark it and I cut it and then I can see what containers will fit perfectly. I almost bought these honey spoons, but they barely contained any honey. Then I stopped at a specialty grocery store to buy my coffee syrups. I really like these ones just because they're organic and the quality is amazing. Now that I found some containers, I'm back home and I'm ready to organize the tea drawer. It's time to declutter some of this loose leaf tea. The goal is to get rid of half of them and the other half I'm going to send to my mom's house. I have a few extras of these bamboo drawer dividers, so I'm going to use them here. Some of my tea has oversized packaging, so what I'm going to do is something that I saw on Pinterest, which was storing tea bags without their individual packaging and just placing them in clear containers or bamboo containers. I do not know if this is going to last me as much as if it was packaged correctly or if the aroma and taste will leave sooner, but we'll try it. And before I show you the finished result, let me brag about this beautiful sourdough bread that I baked this morning. And wow, I really think this is my favorite transformation of both drawers. It's colorful, it's sleek, simple, but a little bit fancy. And I think it's just gonna work best for us. My daughters enjoy a cup of tea before they leave for school and they get into their school bus. And I like to have a cup of tea sometimes at night. My husband installed these beautiful butterfly shelf knobs and everything is now complete. And this is how I decorated the counters in my coffee station. I have a three tier stand for my favorite fall mugs and glassware that I use for cold or hot coffee. The sunflower glass was painted by my daughter. I think each piece here is very reminiscent of fall. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I cannot wait to show you more organizational videos just like this. So I'll see you on my next one.